Welcome back. All right, so I want to start off by saying that I, I chose the old Phoenix Coyotes here, but this is a fight between the city of Phoenix and the Coyotes, who of course have been the Arizona Coyotes. Uh, I don't think they'll ever be called Phoenix again. So the plan was simple, right? You take a landfill. It is a landfill. And you clean it up, and and the, the owners of the Coyotes and the group that's putting this together will clean it all up at no cost to the city of Tempe. They put in a new building. They put in retail, whole entertainment district. It's called the Tempe Entertainment District. And also as part of it, 400 apartments. And the apartments, it's it's a simple reason for this. A, it's good for the community. And B, um, arenas themselves on their own don't generate that much money, right? So if you want to generate the money, you kind of got to make it a big deal. You've kind of got to make it this entertainment district. It makes a lot of sense to me, and I totally get it, right? And a couple of big, big hotels there as well. So this all looks like it's going to gonna go through, right? As long as the, the voters in Tempe get that final say, and that was the plan for May, was that the voters would get to vote and say yes or no. And then the Coyotes go from there. But the city of Phoenix yesterday decided we're going to sue. We're going to sue to prevent this from being built. And they're using the apartments as the reason why not. Now, there's also a group called Tempe First, and they're suspect. Uh, going going through their account, I, I do have kind of a stealth Twitter account that I use just for this kind of stuff. Um, and and it's, it's suspect. There's members of this that you have to question some of their motivations. Um, previous video that I did, I said the most this might cost them is $200 million. But when you get into the weeds of it, this project is completely privately funded. It will cost the taxpayers in Tempe nothing. Now, there will be some a co some costs around this area. Abs yes, absolutely. And and there's nothing that's 100% free. But this is about as close as it gets. And it, it should be a net benefit to the city of Tempe. But Phoenix has decided they don't want it. And, and, and this is, there's some kind of an intergovernmental setup between Tempe and Phoenix, which... At this point, it looks like Phoenix is trying to bully Tempe, so there's a lot of fighting back and forth. And by back and forth, I mean, I haven't seen anybody from Phoenix saying we defend the right for them to leave that as a landfill, but definitely people from Tempe not being happy with certain accounts that are posting about this from the side of we're just, you know, we're just, we're just worried about what this might do. So the lawsuit by Phoenix is being set up so that they can stop this from being built at all. Done. Because of the residential addition to it. And without the residential addition, it doesn't work. So it's a $2.1 billion project that's privately funded. And and once this goes through, uh, should it go through, it, it honestly could be a game changer for the entire franchise. And this is part of the reason why the NHL has fought as long as they have. They know this market can work. And I, I mean, could they be wrong? Absolutely. They could be 100% wrong. But it's the NHL owner's money, and they've they've definitely put a lot of funds into it for decades. So giving up on it when they could be right on the verge of turning things around and making some money doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, the lawsuit claims that this development violates a policy about how close residential housing can be to Sky Harbor Airport. Sky Harbor International Airport's at the middle of all this. And that there's a 1994 agreement in place to spare residents from the planes and the loud noise from planes. It's a 65 decibel range. And protect the airport from litigation. Now, this had already been dealt with. This, this had already been agreed upon. So, there had already been an agreement reached that the NHL would, in court, defend the airport if lawsuits were filed. I don't think there's much of a chance the lawsuits are going to get filed. And, and there's a simple reason. There are already 400 apartments in the noise corridor. And all that was requested for those to go up was for people moving into that area to be told, by the way, this is right next to, see that airport? Yeah, there's planes that come into that airport and they're noisy. My guess is you'd probably have to say, see that? See that? That's a plane. See that? That's an airport. Yeah. So we, we good? Cool. All right. Cool. It, it's simple. You can get people to sign an agreement that they understand that there's 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 airplanes and there's an airport and it's not going to stop because they moved in. We're going to move Sky Harbor Airport because of these apartments. It doesn't happen. It's not going to happen. And there, there's always, like, having visited Vegas as many times as I have, you're right next to the airport. Like, one of the wonderful things about visiting Vegas is 
that you're on the strip and you're like, well, we've got to get to the airport. Yeah, 10 minutes, you're there. And and that, you know, it's great. It's fantastic. Um, it is it is just odd to me that they're 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 saying this is it, this is it, this is it. And when we went to uh, LA in September, our hotel was right next to the airport. Like we could look out the window and watch planes taking off and landing. So the idea that, oh, this is going to violate some FAA policy is weird because they have soundproofing now that back in 1994 wouldn't have been as advanced as it is now. And so these apartments will have that soundproofing, which should get around litigation. It's hard to argue. I can't sleep at night. I'm getting woke up early in the morning by planes when you can't hear them. So that's, you know, like it, it's it's an argument and or they're barely audible, right? Because soundproofing, it works. And again, having been in Vegas, soundproofing works. You meet in a hotel and yeah, you can't hear things that are going on outside because there's soundproofing in the windows and in the construction of the building. So what Arizona is asking for is superior court, or superior court judge to rescind the recent zoning and land use changes and prohibit future residential uses in that area. So leave our landfill alone. Love the garbage. It's our favorite part of, of that part of Tempe. I, I don't understand. And I don't understand because... Uh, if if they're if they're willing to say the risk is going to get taken on by the National Hockey League in this case, or at the very least, you know they'll 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 make sure that there's no litigation coming. I I don't I don't understand why this lawsuit's in place, but apparently there were some negotiations going on that that went south. Clearly, negotiations went south. Very often, it's money related. Something I've noticed when these fights are going on, somebody wants some money. Somebody somewhere would like to have some extra cash. And very, you know, maybe extra money gets thrown in and suddenly this lawsuit disappears. So the fact there's already 400 apartments in that noise corridor that have been built over the last three decades, meaning since that agreement went into place, I'm not sure how they justify it. Plus, again, looking through social media, apparently there are already three high-end apartment buildings that are across the street from where they're going to build these other residential areas. So 10 feet from here, that's too loud. Here it's fine. It's okay here, but across the street, like I don't, I don't get it. Um, and and again, Tempe first. I I'm I just I have my suspicions when it comes to them. Now Craig Morgan has done great reporting on this the whole way through. If you don't follow Craig Morgan, you should. And and honestly, uh, the Coyotes organization, you know, for all of the, the the nastiness that gets thrown around about Arizona and this and that, um, Alex Maruello has been doing his best to make this work and we've talked about the coyotes organization and issues with the coyotes organization over the over the last five years there are issues there sure there are issues in every organization i'm 60 miles from uh, an organization that definitely there's some suspicions there too uh and and because again if you talk about vancouver how quickly will you find a vancouver canucks fan that says sell the team sell the team so i i i really don't think that you know the ownership is a problem in arizona they have the money and they they have the ability to make this work. And the residential units, again, with the the soundproofing, where's the, like, I, I don't understand. So if your concern is we don't want to get sued, you're not going to. And they're willing to talk this over. And yet this lawsuit's in place to prevent groundbreaking at all and any kind of development. And the funny thing is the uh, prohibit future residential uses in that area when you've already got apartments in that area. Like I, I, I don't. I'm trying to grasp the logic in this, and I, I, I can't find it. Um, I, I, I guess this doesn't mean the hotels. Hotels don't qualify as a res residential. I would think hotels would qualify as commercial, right? Because uh, you're, you're renting it for the night and all that fun stuff. But it, it is it is odd that this is going on now. Uh, the ballots are supposed to be mailed out to the voters in Tempe on April 19th. Uh, the vote is taking place in May. As long as there isn't some kind of uh, injunction, something put in place by the court that says forget it. Um, there's some, some, some thought too that they don't really have a legal leg to stand on because there's already residential units there. Because they'd already agreed to not prohibit this project from going forward and now they're saying they're going back on it so now the city of phoenix has gone from we approve to you know what we don't approve 
and we're going to sue to make sure you can't do it in your city. So it is it is odd to me one city telling another what they can do with their their land, but this is where we're at. And uh, I I will say uh, I do appreciate that that the intergovernmental agency shortens to IGA because hey I remember IGA there used to be IGAs everywhere so I, I appreciate reading the articles on this but it, it's odd and I I do think that the building will go forward to me it just sounds like somebody somewhere probably looking for some extra money. And I, I don't know that people that are opposed to the project are opposed for uh, altruistic reasons. I don't know that this is not for some kind of a, yeah, but that's going to hurt me. Like, it, not the community, but just kind of a, well, wait a minute, if they build that, well, that might hurt me. Something personally affecting them. Because, again, it, it does not put any costs on the taxpayer. It fixes a landfill and puts in this brand new entertainment district that's going to attract more money and tourism to Tempe. And it, it would not violate policies that have already been violated by the city of Phoenix or by Tempe in previous uh, developments. So we'll see what happens. But I, I do expect the whole move to Quebec City, move blah, 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 all that stuff. I expect that in the comment section because... That's how that works. But I, I, I really think this building's going to go forward and something will get figured out. Something somewhere. But this this is the best place to put it. Honestly, it's the best place to put the building. Um, I, I do think that if this falls apart, that they'll find another spot for it. I don't believe it will be Houston. But I, I will say that the, the National Hockey League uh, will probably put its money behind this too. Uh, seeing this lawsuit had to tick off some people in the NHL too because they figured this was all done. This was all settled. And so this isn't just going to be the city of Tempe. This isn't just going to be the Arizona Coyotes. My guess is the weight of, of the legal team of the National Hockey League itself will be behind this too. So it, 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 could, it could get uglier or it could go away. But we'll see what happens. Uh, I do hope the vote goes forward. I hope it's a yes. Uh, there hasn't been any recent polling I've seen on what the, what the people in Tempe want. But when they had the uh, signatures to approve of it, it was it was approved. Uh, one thing I've seen as well uh, is the idea that why didn't city council just flat out approve it? Why did they send it to a vote? Uh, Craig Morgan pushed a pushback on that saying people who objected to this still could have objected to it and got injunctions and it still could have ended up in court anyways. So uh, it this was likely going to happen no matter what the city of Tempe did, whether they'd approved it or sent it to a vote. But yeah, it's it's going to be hopefully in the voters' hands and and not in the hands of, of, of a judge who may or may not go again. I don't see any reason though why uh, this would end up being, you know, shut down because it's a, it's a landfill. It's a landfill. It's it's an environmental cleanup, and it's it's fixing a problem in the city of Tempe, and it's putting in a brand new beautiful entertainment district, and and so there you go. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. For all your support, I will talk to you again soon.